Hey guys, so just a quick one here with Xiaomi's Mi Notebook Pro. This is their 15.6 inch model, so their best one really, the best notebook they have made out of those three. We've got the 13.3 inch model, we've got the 12 inch model that hasn't been updated yet, and then this model of course. Now this is a newer version here that um, I got for 829 US, which is really good for the price. That worked out to be about 670 or 80 euros here in Spain, which is a really decent price for the kind of speak you're getting, considering it's got an 8th gen CPU on here, uh, the i5-8250U. Now what happened with the first one I got is that the SSD was only running in times 2 mode, so at half its capacity really, it wasn't running full steam ahead. These are the kind of speeds I was getting, around about um, 1800 reads and 1200 writes, so the read speeds were lower. But luckily, later BIOS versions came out and they patched, they fixed this issue, Xiaomi, which was good of them to do this. Of course, they had to do it. So this latest model here that I have picked up, I can confirm that, yes, you can see those speeds there. That fixes the problem. Now, you're able to update the BIOS yourself. Uh, there is a um, post on my website where we've discussed that and a few people have added in some links and things to where you can get those BIOSes and you can update that. But this version here that I have, um, I originally first thought it had the latest BIOS on here, but it turns out that it's not, but it's the version that pretty much everyone is after. And that is version 0401. Now the reason why a lot of people want this one is later versions, again, Xiaomi decided to lock us out of the advanced tab. So this is the tab here I'm talking about. Now the reason why it's great to have access to this is because we can undervolt to save a little bit on temperatures. So it won't generate as much heat as the stock voltage, but you can only push it so far then you could run into a blue screen of death and of course the laptop will crash and reboot. But here I'm getting away with 0 0.09 and that has been stable. No problems with that. And the best thing to do was this really here. So you can tweak that power limit. Now the stock limit is 15. So 15 watts is what Intel have told everyone that's what you should go with. And that's what you normally find on these laptops. So if you have all this grayed out because you're on a different BIOS version, then of course you can't tweak or change any of that. But keeping that on the 30 means it's gonna perform a lot faster when we run things like video editing software or 3D. And I will give you an example of that, the kind of boost we get here in Cinebench R15, for example. So take a look at that CPU score. This is amazing for this CPU because the stock power limit will only give you a score here of around about 536 CB. So it's up 200 points if you run this and this score the 726 is very close or on par with the seventh generation i7 7700hq that's a very common i7 cpu you find in a lot of gaming laptops that have the nvidia 1060 or the 1070 in them you see a lot of them around so it's quite a powerful uh, cpu and of course it does have the hyper threading like this one here. So that's a really good result. So that's why it's great to have those unlocked power limits. Okay, so it's all very well me showing you this here. Now, unfortunately, it looks like that this version that I'm really lucky to have on my particular model here, the 0401 BIOS version, looking on the Xiaomi forums, it seems that what they're saying here is it's the best version because you get the two times SSD speeds and the unlocked power limits and voltage, but the problem is there doesn't seem to be a flash package here. Now, this Google Translate's gone a little bit wrong here because it says there is no brush bag. Um, <laughs> we always see that. They always keep saying they're talking about brushing. Brushing is flashing. So there's no flash zip. So no one's got those files, unfortunately, yet for that particular version. So the later BIOSes now are this one right here. You've got a 0.5. 02, which I haven't flashed this one yet, but I do believe it fixes the SSD, but we don't get access to this right here. So we don't have, um, this is all grayed out, so you can't make any adjustments there. So that is the changes there on the later versions now coming out of China and shipping. A lot of them will be shipping with this BIOS, but then some of them could have this 502 model on there, which is a bit of a shame, but at least we fixed that SSD problem with it not running at full speeds. 
Thanks a lot for watching this video here. So I will have some more videos coming up on this particular model here, the Mi Notebook Pro. I've got a gaming video coming up because a lot of people have been asking me just how Fortnite, that you know, that game from Epic Games, how that performs on here. So I'll do a video of that. And also a comparison to the new revised Mi Notebook Air, the 13 inch version, which runs the same exact chipset as this one here. So do keep an eye out for those. And thank you so much for watching this short little video here. Bye for now.